Hey YouTube viewers, um, this is uh, a, the same tank that I built before with the drip waterfall, um, but I had to tear it down due to the fact of um, watering issues. I had a leak in the water, um, little pond area, and um, it just wasn't working out. So I have a new strategy, and I obviously you can see um, a new design. Um, but I did keep the old background and I will um, re-glue some of this. Um, dirt does fall off, um, but you know, it's fine. Uh, I am planning on putting uh, a little, little waterfall right there. And I have another drip up there. Um, this, is, this is the filter that I'll be using for the bottom. And it's, uh, I believe it's a Repti fil Repto filter, yes, by Tetra. And um, it works very well. Um, uh, I'm missing, you know, the, the carbon cartridge. Uh, but on the better note, I have, um, I have a lot of uh, filtering. You can see that black right there behind the, the pipe, PVC piping. That's, uh, it's this uh, window screening. And uh, it's going to help filter through all this crap right here in the bottom. Um, I have some rocks just to mix it up. Um, the PVC is holding up this egg carton, so it's, it, this is a false bottom pretty much. I have uh, window screening on the top, so it holds this dirt. Um, so that's, that's a benefit. This dirt came actually from the pot or potting setup right here. Um, so, But I will be removing this right here. Um, that's just just to get the shape out. Um, I just sprayed this about I don't know 30 40 minutes ago, and it's it's it, it started to dry up. So um, it took three hours for this right here today to get that done. Um, I baked these branches and um, and the mic and the oven. I put it on 275 for 20 20 to 30 minutes, and it came out nice. Um, if there's any bugs or pests on there, and it gives a nice uh, look to the tank. Uh, I also uh, have a couple leaves uh, that I cooked that somebody suggested doing, which was going to be foliage. It's going to sit on top of the dirt. And basically, you just put a little bit of water um, in a bowl, stick the leaves on top in the bowl, and microwave it for two to three minutes and the steam actually cleans it. Um, people also say bleach it, um, boil it, but the problem with boiling it is, is you lose most of the um, good bacteria on there that you want. Um, also, um, for the waterfall, you may be wondering how I did that. I um, did an eight carton, uh, eight crate thing right here, and I made it so I can reach down and grab everything I want. And I made it go farther down past the false bottom so I, the water actually hits it. Um, there's the tubing for the drip fall. Um, I heavily siliconed everything. I don't want anything to get stuck back here. Um, bugs or frogs. Um, after I, after this stuff dries, I'm planning on siliconing all of that up there. So nothing happens to it. Um, shave this down so the lid fits on top and silicon more of that. Um, I used black silicone, 100%. Um, it's a uh, window, door, attic, and basement. And uh, it, were, it, it it's ready for th in three hours, so um, that's a benefit. Um, so I'm gonna use the cocoa fiber and silicone method where you put you heavily silicone all this and I put cocoa fiber all over it and I press down real hard and let it dry after that I will um, let put plant it I'm planning I have the pothos from last time and I am looking into plants now um, I need some suggestions I am looking into doing uh, possibly uh, baby tears or um, 
Polly Bonavine, also known as. Uh, I'm also planning on doing uh, Moss all in here. Um, just heavily moss it. Um, and probably up here as well. Um, and there I go, sticking. See, not everything's dry. So that's another downfall. You must wear. You really want to wear gloves when you do when you do this stuff because um, this stuff is terrible to get off. I still have some of my f thumbnail. Uh, you see that little glitter in there? That's that's it right there. Um, but it does that basically, and then it sucks when you have to peel it off. Um, I related it to peeling off like skin when you, after you get sunburned. Um, it doesn't hurt too badly. It doesn't really. I, I haven't had it peel off my actual skin, so that's another good thing. Um, I will be siliconing this side as well, just for safety reasons, like I did here. Um, that's a mess, so I had to cut that and trim that down. Um, I started trimming here as well. Um, it doesn't really matter with the look, um, because once you heavily do, after you do this, you know, it's not going to really matter. Um, so that's, that's another thing I'm doing as well. Um, it sucks though, because this is in the way from when I'm carving in here. So, um, that's the downfall to these things. Um, so when you're making your terrarium, remember to, uh, leave space so you can actually get in there and do everything for it. Um, so yeah, I use pots, um, so there's, there's some of my supplies, you know, it's a mess, etc, etc, etc. I'm using this light slant just to keep lighting on it, and it gives it gives off some heat, so it helps dry it as well. Um, for when I was spraying it on this egg carton, important thing, if you're ever going to use this egg crate or egg carton, whatever it is, make sure you use, um, some of that window stuff. So I bought a big roll, um, this, it isn't, um, the aluminum, it's the, the other stuff, I don't remember what it's called, um, but I used that, um, it actually helps it hold, it keeps it from doing this, you can see that, that styrofoam sticking out from in there, it's the downfall, that's why you want to do that, so, um, just remember to keep safe with it, this silica, this, this spray foam comes off fairly decent off the glass, um, I mean, you know, you put a little pressure in it, like everything else, but um, you just basically just push it off like that, or uh, take a scraper to it. That's what I did with the silicone mess. Um, you might want to use goo, uh, the goo remover, as well. So it's another tip. Um, I'm planning on doing dart frogs in here. Um, not sure what kind yet. So um, it's just another thing to tell me. Um, to help me out with. So, uh, yeah, it took, let me think, this, this took two, this alone was, um, one, uh, I, I used up to six cans of spray foam to do all this. It's a lot, I know, but it's worth it at the end. Um, and I am planning, I used so far almost three quarters of silicone alone just to do just to do the normal just the silicone the egg crate and stuff um i have four bottles of silicone left of the black stuff but i don't know if i'll be able to use it all i might i might not i might use it all and need some more all the way around i would say it, la it was about 50 to 60 dollars um, silicone's five ninety, five ninety seven, and the gap fillers two ninety something or two seventy something. Um, so that's another thing. So uh, yeah, keep you posted. I'll give you an update when I finish. Um, give me suggestions on plants and things, etc. Thanks.